This is little Oxybellus uniglumus, the fly-stabbing wasp. She will dig a burrow three to four inches deep, and on each of those burrows she will have oh, two, three, four chambers, each one stocked with maybe as much as a dozen flies. It does depend on the size of them really. Here she is digging her way in and you can clearly see the fly impaled on her sting, a very convenient way to get it underground, towing it behind you. Out she comes again and then she will close the door. Not many of the wasps close the door behind them, she's quite unusual in that regard. She also digs quite manically, chucking sand all over the place, even in slow motion like this film. Back with another fly, a quick check with the antenna, make sure it's her burrow and then in she goes again. They are quite rewarding to film, they're not like a bee wolf who might disappear off for half an hour or three quarters or longer, they're in and out every few minutes once they start provisioning their cells. So they're quite easy to get decent footage of, even if they are really small. Not easy to spot sometimes, but always a favourite with the visitors when we do find them. This behaviour though is something I had not seen before. Having filled her hole in, she flattens herself right down on the ground. I can only assume it is to warm up a little bit perhaps. She was there for a fair while, quite a few minutes, but then disappeared off to go to do some more hunting.